okay so in the 2019 paper we now move on to task a3 okay and task a3 is connected to web authoring where you are required to be uh, creating a web page okay and we will be using adobe dreamweaver to create the web page okay so in task a3 it says open a new word processing document enter your name candidate number and center number in the header and save the document as task a3 okay so come into your folder right click and uh, come over here file name is supposed to be task a3 so i'll put the same name and open the header and it says task a3 your name candidate number and the center number okay so just double click on the middle of the page to close your header okay so the next it goes on to say simon wants you to create two pages for his website content for the website is stored in web page so do check whether you have this document web page because all the content that you need is inside it so i have web page when i open web page yes i have some text that has been given to me okay uh, next it goes on to say he wants you to create two linked pages one is home and the other one is courses okay both web pages must be saved as dot html so task a3a create the home page based on this design okay so right now we'll be creating the web page for this okay so uh, once again i'm reminding you all when it comes to creating web pages it's always better to create the layout using a table okay so you can see the layout has been given and this layout can be created using a table okay so it can be considered as one row this can be considered as one row second row third row fourth row let me something like this from here to here fourth row and this fifth row and this can be the sixth row okay so we have six rows and basically two columns should be enough column one column two so let me open up dreamweaver let's open up dreamweaver and uh, once dreamweaver opens up let's say i want a blank html document and i'm going to stick with the design view itself i'm not going to get into code view i'm going to go into design view insert a table so where is table i want a table with uh, six rows and two columns and i'm going to keep my table with at 100 percent so 100 percent means no matter which screen i view it whether it is a small screen or, or a big screen the table will fully fit that screen okay that's what we call 100 percent table width next i don't want the borders of my table to be visible so i'm going to keep the border thickness at zero okay so over here you might say well it's visible here these dots are only visible on dreamweaver the moment you open it with google chrome the moment you open the web page with your web browser these dots will not be visible okay so now let's start inserting the content so initially first row you can see the first row first column and second column have got merged so i'll do that first column second column of the first row right click table merge cells okay and also i have to center align it so right click align center and over here it says that uh, i have to put the logo and the company name so logo we did it at the beginning of the paper okay at the beginning we created the logo for the company so i'm just going to go to my folder and get that logo cs kuba logo Control c come over here Control v okay alternate text i'll say this is the logo obviously it's way too big so from the corners while holding the shift key the reason we are holding the shift key is so that it, this becomes proportionally small okay so holding the shift key i'm making it smaller so proportionally it's becoming small when the width becomes small the height is also equally becoming small okay and then next to this i have to put the company name so the company name is uh, let's quickly go to the beginning of the paper the company name will be given it is celtic springs scuba okay so let's type that over here celtic springs scuba okay and obviously this is the main heading so let's make it heading number one right click paragraph format heading number one okay and also i'm just going to double click on these borders so that you know everything gets auto adjusted okay right now you can see this is way too big okay the height of this cell is too big so just double click and everything gets automatically adjusted okay uh, the next thing is if you come back to your question you can see the next thing is the page title you can see the page title row has also been merged with the two columns so i'll do that as well select these two table merge cells and also it has to be center aligned so align center 
and the title of this page is since I'm creating the home page right now right now I'm creating the home page you know so I'll just put home okay the page title will be home I'll just type home over here and this is obviously the subheading so right click paragraph format heading number two and the third row if you look at the third row third row also the first column and second column have been merged so I'll do that as well over here select table merge cells align center and I'm supposed to type over here link to the other page so the other page that we have is courses isn't it so I'm going to type courses over here courses and this can be the sub sub heading so I can make this heading number three heading number three there you go and then over here in the fourth row first column I'm supposed to have an image so uh, it's supposed to be somewhere over here and also if you notice you can see the image is kind of the text is all center aligned so which would mean that the image should also be center aligned and the image should be 250 pixels by 250 pixels okay so uh, let's get an image first so if I come to my folder and come to the images folder uh, I can find an image somewhat related to diving scuba this one can be so control C I'm going to first before inserting make sure that you have aligned to the center okay so right click align center okay now you can see it's blinking in the center so now control V say okay and say that this is something to do with scuba okay there you go it has been inserted now this image has to be 250 pixels by 250 when you click on this image you can see at the bottom it is 799 by 487 and this is locked okay which means when I change the width automatic automatically the height will also change so when I change the fi uh, width to 250 when I press enter height is going to 151 so I want the height to also be 250 so what I do is I unlock this okay so that I can put my own values and I change the height to 250 okay there you go it's now 250 by 250 let's just double click on these borders for them to get auto adjusted let's make it much smaller there you go then I need to insert one more image as well okay if you look at uh, layout you can see there has to be one more image so what I'm going to do is align center and let's go for one more image maybe another one to do with scuba maybe this one control C control V okay I'll just say scuba 2 say okay same thing with this image also it's unlocked already make it 250 by 250 there you go and then I'll just double click on the borders for them to all get auto adjusted okay fantastic now if you also notice over here the introductory text okay so it's basically the second column of row number four and the second column of row number five have been merged it has become one cell so we'll do that these two have to become one cell so right click table merge cells there you go it has now become one and then at the end we do have these two columns which have got merged for email address and telephone number so i'll select these two right click table merge cells and it also has to be center aligned align center so the email one second the email and the telephone number okay so email and telephone number you can find it in the scenario of this page of this uh, past paper so you can see the email is uh, simon at cscuba.net simon at cscuba.net and telephone number is going to be 01632 01632 and 44675 44675 okay so also we have to put the content for the home page so in the in our question paper they told us all the content we need is inside a web page okay we didn't come to that part yet uh, somewhere over here they'll be telling us okay here you can see include appropriate content from the web page document okay also here this they, they told us right content for the website is stored in web page so I'll come over here and uh, this is for the courses web page so this will be for the home page so I'm just gonna copy it okay come over here align center and control V okay okay so 
the first part getting the layout and the basic content seems to be fine okay i think we have got everything that is required okay i don't think i have missed anything from over here let's move on to the next page and over here it tells you the background color should be a dark sea green color and this is the code you can put for it this is the color number and the text color for the introductory text so the only the introductory text should have this color not all the text okay so now background color it applies to the entire page now so you can go to modify page properties and apply it okay let me show you since the background color applies to the entire page you can come to page properties and put the background color which is uh, which was what uh, 8fb c 8f 8 8fb c 8f okay and you click apply okay so you can see this green color has been applied now if you look very carefully this text color should be applied only for the introductory text okay so you can't go to page properties and apply it because whatever you do in page properties applies to the entire page okay so since i want something to be done only for this these two paragraphs what i have to do is i have to create something called a css style okay i have to create a something called a css style and in that style i have to tell what the font color is and then i have to apply that css style to these two paragraphs okay let me show you how it works so i'm just going to right click on my web page i'm going to come to css styles and i'm going to say i want a new style okay and they ask me what is the name of this style so i'll just give it a simple name like uh, midnight blue or something now remember when it comes to your css styles you can't keep spaces okay it has to be one word and i'll say okay now over here they ask me what are the properties of this style so you can put a font size font style line height you can put various properties i don't want any of them i just want one thing which is it has to be midnight blue so the coding for midnight blue is 191970 it has to be 191970 and i'm going to say okay now that style that i created called midnight blue has to be applied to these two paragraphs so what i'm going to do is select these two paragraphs right click css styles and i'm going to say apply the midnight blue style okay so there you see now you can see this has become dark blue okay so i hope you're able to understand that you're able to keep up with me okay the reason we are going through css styles is because this color has to be applied only for these two paragraphs not for the entire page if it is to be applied for the entire page we can simply come to modify page properties and put the color okay but since it is only for two paragraphs we have to go through uh, css styles okay and then next it tells us use these html elements the company name should be heading one should be h1 which we have already done the page title the page title which is this area okay uh, it should be size 18 it should be bold and it should be italics okay now bold and italics can be done very easily you can simply right click over here you can come to style and you can say make it bold and you can say make it italic that's not a problem but if you want to change the font size you will have to create a new style again okay obviously in coding it can be done very much more easily but uh, i'm assuming you guys are not very familiar with the coding part that's why i'm just showing you how to do it in the design part okay so what you can do over here is you can simply right click over here and you can say you want to create a new css style and you can say the name of this is size 18 okay and in this css style only one property is going to change which is the font size is going to become 18 pixels that's all and say okay now come and apply that css style for home in order for home to become size 18 apply that style so right click over here come to css styles and say you want that size 18 style now see this becomes smaller it is now size 18 okay hope you guys are able to keep up with me okay and then the introductory text should be a paragraph it is already a paragraph okay the introductory text if you check it out guys it's already a paragraph and then the next question tells us include two appropriate images from the images folder and position them as shown in the design we already did that we have already put the two images and then the next question says uh, one of the images must link to this address triple w dot dot net okay so one of the images so i'll just go with the first image click on the first image and at the bottom can you see link so i'll just say it should go to triple w dot dot net and press enter okay so when this image is clicked 
uh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Control Z. When this image is clicked, it should go to the following link: www. cs tuba. net. Press enter. Okay. That's also done. Uh, include appropriate content from the web page document. So we did that. We got the correct content over here. Uh, the next thing says include the email address and telephone number for CS Cuba. We did that. We have the email and the telephone number. Over here it says the contact details are in the scenario. Make the email address and email link. So what they mean is when I click on this, it should allow me to send an email to this particular address. So how we do that is quite easy. You just select this email address, and for link you type the following code. You type mail to, okay, and put a colon, okay. Mail to colon, and then type the email address. So it is supposed to go to Simon at cscuba. dot net. Okay. So when I click on this link, or when the user clicks on this link, it will allow the, allow the user to send an email directly to Simon at cscuba. dot net. Okay. Let me press enter. Okay. Uh, maybe later on I can show you if this is working or not. Okay. Once we have saved our web page and all that. Uh, next, it says save the home page as index. Take a screenshot of your home page in the web browser. So I'm going to save this as index. Save. Do not forget to keep it in your same 2019 folder. Okay. Over here, I'm going to save it as index. Not necessary to put the .html because it will automatically get it created over here. Save. Uh, we did forget one thing that I. Uh, uh, oh, I can show it to you later on. Okay. So that's done. And it says take a screenshot of your home page in a web browser. So I'm going to open it up in a web browser. So I have index over here. Let me just quickly show you that email link whether it's working or not. So look, when I click on this email link, look, immediately my computer asks me, how do you want to send this email? Okay, do you want to send it using mail? Do you want to use it Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Outlook? Okay, so you have to put that mail to colon and the email address. Okay, it's working. So I'm supposed to take a screenshot of this. Okay, take a screenshot. So let me go to my web browser, print screen, and where am I supposed to paste it? In task A3, Control V. That's also done. Uh, resave task A3. Do not print at this stage. Okay, so resave this, and do not uh, print at this stage. Okay. So guys, the next part uh, we'll continue it in our next video. Okay. So uh, I hope it's going smoothly for you. I hope you are getting it. I hope you are able to keep up with my pace. Yes, I'm going a little fast, uh, but I hope you can play, pause, you know, go back, come forward as you wish. Okay, but if you're having some issues which you couldn't sort out, okay, do not forget you can comment below. You can send me an email. Okay, all my contact details you will be knowing. Okay, uh, okay. See you in the next video. Take care.